have a car. He has to have a house. He has to have money in the bank. Perfect man. And I'm telling you, this is where you're going to be disappointed. You don't really want a man to come in your life who's already great. That's very dangerous. Because when the man is already great, he has everything. He doesn't need you. That's why he will abuse you. But hold on. Baby, spend it, spend it, baby, on me. Spend it, baby, spend it. You guys, I, I promise I'm going to try to make this video very simple. And I know it's like the same stuff being um, reiterated and resurfacing and just reshared all on social media. But you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, co name Chanel, and I'm back. If you're new here, give this video a thumbs up because I promise you it's lit. And if you're a returning subscriber, then you know, like I know, it's all up. Let me get to the point because I know y'all tired of the same topic. And honestly, I want to tell you guys, I feel like what's going on in the black community, I feel like they, I, I feel like it was all created by the government. I know this, I sound wokey woke saying this, but there is no way how every day black women and black men are just going online bashing each other. But hold on, hold on. I have to say that the craziest part about it is that it's really starting with like black men. Like black women will literally like literally mind our business and when i say like mind our business like something will happen like it'll be a boom it could be an explosion and black women is mute when i watch videos like that and i be looking for context and nuance always never there never is and oh you ladies want a man who's with a car with a job because the things that he was listing was basic necessities like who's asking for too much if a man has a car, a job, and a house. Because women are able to get these type of things, right? So why in reality in the world, that's basic as fuck. So when you will go around applauding fish for swimming, they tend to continue to do the bare minimum. And that's where we get the beef between, or you know, the conversations that keep happening between black women and black men. But then we get videos like that, where you have tons of men reposting it like, Oh, see, you ladies, you're not going to find the perfect man. They're, they're different streets, but they're all leading down the same path of give black women the bare minimum and reward bad behavior. Because why are we talking to, why, why are you as a man talking directly to what a woman wants? If you as a man cannot step up and create your own, don't get me into generational wealth that a lot of these men preach social media got my friends is dating this guy and they were all having a game night and i really didn't want to go but i ended up going quick little story time you guys and when i went over there it was funny because they were all talking about generational wealth and like how you need to pass things down to your kids and one of the guys was at the same time he was complaining about child support so i'm like okay so you didn't marry your baby mama right but you're talking about passing things down to your kid when you said you shouldn't be on child support because you didn't sign the birth certificate. It's like, I want people to hear what they're saying. Because the shit that they're saying, like the rhetoric that's being spit online, that no one wants to do the work to see why is it that their women are trying to climb corporate ladders and the leading entrepreneurs and making all this money. They don't want to do the work because some of them just don't like working. I hate to say it. Some of them just don't fucking like working. I'm so happy that I'm not tricked into lowering my standards or tricked into believing that I don't deserve what I deserve. If I did, then I'd be in the same boat as everybody else. Like, black women deserve more. Put it on a fucking t-shirt. They talk about, oh, the perfect man, this height, this, this, that, this, this, all this other stuff. But men, when you, t when you ask them what their preference is or when you ask them what they like, when I tell you, they have a fucking checklist. They also have a checklist. That's the crazy part about it. like, men get to have all these checklists, but he's literally saying they don't have to have a job, a car, a house, shoes, clothes, milk, sugar, like nothing. They don't have to have nothing else. And that's really insane. And y'all, this really is a rant because I'm just really going on. I went off a hella topic. Part and also, please, please, please do me a huge favor and not skip over the part where you're like, oh, you you can't brag about how much money you're making because that's intimidating. Like, make more money. I brag about making 150,000, right? I want to brag about making 250,000, right? And you're like, babe, I made that in 09. But I just touched six. 
I just touched six because you, you're going to be like, you're going to try to humble me a little bit, but let me know how much you're making. And I'll go ahead and notate that down, put that in my notes. But no, it's so funny. Like nobody else is scared about women bragging about how much they make. Cause you know, statistically men make more. So just, just stop, stop the shenanigans. You guys, thanks for tuning in to Cold Nation. No, don't give a fuck. Um, don't forget to join my Patreon if you need finesse tips. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Code Name Chanel, TikTok Chanel, no, TikTok Code Name Chanel, but I don't really be on there. Snapchat Chanel Care Herb. <sighs> follow me on Snapchat. I still be on I still be on Snapchat and I know. I know I shouldn't be. I'll just say that. But like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell below. And you guys, I'm out and I'm out. And I'm out. Let me know. Do you guys like when I say that I'm out? Just let me know.